Yo, what's going on guys? Bobby here and today we're back with another video. So today, one of the new 10 gadgets came out and I was fortunate enough to get it in my shop. Now it is a very overpowered gadget, don't get me wrong. We're gonna show you guys all the stuff you guys need to learn about it, how to hit every single shot with it, what it can do, and then show you guys some live games. So just to read it out to you and explain what it is, it is Piper's second gadget and what it is, is on activation, it's called homemade recipe. On activation, Piper's next main attack will home in on enemies. So for those of you that don't really understand what that means, and I'm sure you guys have seen a lot of gameplay already of it, is it basically curves and it basically just finds out where the enemies are and just hits them basically automatically. So we're gonna teach you guys how to hit every single shot. We're gonna show you guys the limits that the shot can go. We're just gonna show you guys everything that you can do and then hop into some live games. So that being said, let's get started and let's get into it. All right, so here we go. We're in a friendly room right now. And we're going to be going up against, you know, just people that we know. We're going to be trying. This is the number one competitive Brawl Stars map when it comes to bounty. And what Pipers do is it's always Piper mid and they hide in the corner. So we're going to see what we can do against Jig. So can we kill him if we're standing here? So we can get that hit when they're hiding in a corner. So that's pretty huge. Let's see what we can do if we're standing over here. Is it automatic hit? Okay, it's not going to be an automatic hit over there. But if we come from this side, let's see what happens. I'm going to go for the shot. It will curve and kill him. So that's actually really crazy to see that it's actually going to be able to curve and get that kill because that is game changing when it comes to competitive bounty. That's going to be huge. The fact that you can just shoot and hit those shots, it's going to be absolutely insane that you can do that. So we're going to show you guys one more in Snake Prairie. So let's hop into Snake and let's get things going for you guys. All right, so here we go into Snake. Now, I think this is pretty crazy because <laughs> it's this is kind of broken. So you can literally click your gadget button walk up and literally just fire into the grass and you guys see i got that hit on jigsaw he's in the middle you know you got the hit even when you don't see him as your super button or your i guess your shot button whatever it is your charge will grow and again i'm just going to shoot in the middle and again it's going to find him no matter what you guys see i'm missing shots over here nothing i can do but i'm going to use this going to go for a shot and he was hiding behind the wall so I didn't kill him but if they're anywhere over here and you aim well enough in the distance, you are going to be able to get that kill. It's actually really insane. I have no clue how it's like that because again, it's heat sink. It's heat seeking, not sinking. So imagine it like a missile, like they have in those movies where it just somehow tracks your body. It just knows where you are. It's literally exactly like that. So grass isn't changing anything. Hiding isn't changing anything. It always knows where you are. Anyways, let's hop into the 3v3 live games. Let's get into it and let's show you guys what we can do in 3v3 and show you guys the limitations with the star power. I mean this gadget. All right, so here we go into our first game that we're gonna show you guys. So we're gonna be going up against a crow, a poco, and a mortis. So as you guys can see, you know, we're hitting shots, we're playing Piper. I would prefer to use snappy sniping on open maps as a lot of you guys might know. I might get scored on here, I gotta jump back. But let's show you guys the gadget. So what you guys wanna use it for basically is just to hit shots. You know, you don't wanna like curve them completely around walls, so that's not gonna happen. But you guys can see I clicked the gadget over here. I'm going to wait for the Poco to get a little bit around. And there is a little bit of curve, but not too much over there. So you guys didn't see too, too much over there. Um, now, obviously, is this is replacing a first gadget. So what you guys have to be aware of is now with Piper, you can't just like run into people's faces as often. So we're going to use the curve right off the bat over here on this crow. You guys can see it's going to curve right on the crow and hit. It basically hits every single time. It's pretty nasty like that. Um, I don't think it should be able to do that. But for some reason, it is able to. So we're just gonna, I guess, be okay with that and learn how to use it. Um, but yeah, you guys can see the crows right here. We're just going to shoot around this barrel and it almost curved onto the crow, it didn't. So again, you don't wanna go for those super, super curvy shots that are just unbelievably risky and might not hit. You guys just wanna go for the shots that, you know, you might not be able to hit, but if you add the curve, you will 100% be able to. That would be my recommendation. I wouldn't rec really recommend going for the big curvy ones because um, that's just not really the best strategy. So one nothing in this game, we're probably gonna be able to wrap this up soon. Unfortunately, I do only have three gadgets in a game, so I can't be showing you guys insane footage of gadgets throughout the entirety of the thing. So good thing we scored a quick goal over here. Let's hop into the next game and let's continue showing you guys how to use this gadget effectively during a game. All right, so here we go into our next game. So here we're going up against a very overpowered comp, three of the stronger brawlers in the game right now. So we're gonna click our gadget and go for a shot around this wall. Again, too risky, you guys don't wanna be going for that. I didn't think that would hit, but I, got, I really want to show you guys the extent to what you can and can't go for, because um, I don't want you guys wasting your shots. So again, we're going to wait till he's like one tile away. He's not. So we're going to go over here. And again, too much of a risk. So it's not, you know, super, super broken. You're not hitting every shot with it. 
Um, but you can hit a good amount like that one over there. Um, but yeah, you guys can't really just go for those crazy shots like, you know, you want to or like that's shown in the Brawl Talks. Because um, that's not really too realistic. Now again, this video is about gadgets, it's not about Piper, so we're just gonna hop into the next game and show you guys the next game and some gadgets, so let's hop into it and let's show you guys what's up. Alright, so here we go into our next game over here, now we're going up against a Colt, Sandy, and Daryl. So right off the bat, we're gonna go for the shot, go for the Colt, automatic hit, no matter what, which is pretty godly. Um, now you can use it for a straight shot, you don't necessarily need to get that crazy curve on it. Um, but it will hit every single time if you go for it on a straight shot if there's no crazy walls you have to get around because there's just no way it can miss it's a heat homing missile and if you're just getting close enough it's going to hit every single time um, now we should be able to score over here going to go for a few shots going to be able to get that team wipe going to put the ball in the net and again we're going to start off the next round by just going for a really quick easy shot so we're going to go for a tap here on the colt um see if you can get around this wall over here it's not going to be able to so that one missed by a good amount i don't think it missed that far i didn't i don't really know how that happened but you know we're gonna miss it and again it's not super super overpowered but in a lot of bounty maps it definitely is so i'm pretty eager to try it out in actual bounty 3v3 or even in competitive bounty i'm really eager to try it out because it should be really really hard to stop and it should be really good to use so again let's hop into the next game let's keep it going let's show you guys our limitations for what you guys can do and can't do in 3v3 all right so here we go into our last brawl ball game now we're going to be going up against frank leon and mr p so we're going to try and hit a mr p right off the bat he's going to go the other way which is fine um but we do have our heat seeking shot and we don't really want to hit that on a frank because a frank's pretty easy to hit we don't want to waste one of our three gadgets on it so we're going to wait until there's a better opponent to hit it with uh, we're going to be able to take out the mr p over there and hopefully the leon we're not going to be able to hit the leon over there though um, Osiren is able to get that kill. We're just going to break these walls over here because, you know, the less walls the better for us as a Piper, obviously. Should be a Frank over here. There is. So, um, I'm thinking about using my gadget. Don't think I'm going to use it yet, though. Not really the best place. Going to just shoot. Eh, we can get the confirmed kill over here. Again, it's not that crazy of a shot, but it would guarantee that kill. So, we did go for it over there. There is a Leon in these bushes. Just going to go for the taps on it. Jig should be able to get that kill. Ooh, 23 health. Now, we could go for a snipe on this Mr. P. I think we're going to. Going to be able to hit it. That one had a pretty good amount of curve over there. I'm um, going to try and confirm this. Going to be able to. And so far, it's looking really good. Jigsaw does have super. Now, Mr. P is super annoying, though. Especially against Piper with the star power that it's using. So, this isn't going to be really the most fun game in the world for us. But, you know, we got to do it. Whatever. Um, got to take out this Mr. P penguin over here. Taking three shots to do so. It's so annoying to take those out. And as soon as you do, just another one spawns. Um, this guy is their distraction. We got to take that guy out over there. Got to take this out. And again, we're basically wasting all of our shots on these guys. This does look like a fake Leon. So we're going to be able to get that kill. Going to be able to hit that guaranteed shot on the Mr. P over there. Get it low, not let it attack us. And we are looking pretty good over here, despite the fact that Osiren did get hit. Uh, we should be fine to defend. Pretty easy shot. So this game is going pretty well. We're about two minutes in almost. But this Mr. P, it's just so annoying, man. I really dislike Mr. P in the meta. As it just hard counters a lot of skilled brawlers that are just, you know, like Brock or Piper. That just have one shot and it's pretty hard to hit them. Not the easiest shot in the world to hit. And, you know, you have to waste them all in little porters. It's, it's pretty annoying. But, um, you know, that's the meta now, I guess. Oh, this is not looking good for us right now. I'm gonna be able to get that save. Gonna jump into the corner. Hopefully kill the Frank. Oh, that was a lucky kill on that Frank over there. And we're able to get that kill as well on Mr. P. So that was actually a pretty good play. Pretty well done by us over there to not get scored on. Looks like the ball is going to stay in our corner. I don't think that was really the best strat, but I guess Jigsaw likes the ball there. Hopefully we can take out this Mr. P Porter. I don't really care about taking out a Brawler. As long as this Porter goes, then we can start firing away and start doing some damage. But every time I shoot at it, it gets body blocked. Oh, looks like Jig actually is in some trouble over here. These should be pretty easy shots to just auto aim and hit. Um, so let's see what we can do. Ball's going to be given to me. I have my super shot, so hopefully I don't choke it. Oh, there's a Leon sneaking right in front of me. Leon's going to clear it. It's actually a pretty good game going on right now. Um, I know not a lot of um, gadget usage because, again, we only have three, but pretty good game to show. Looks like they do have a Mr. P Porter again, which is unfortunate. We're able to get the kill over there. Trying to get a kill on this Frank. Oh, he's going to sauce us, but it's not going to go in. I had the right side, so I don't know why Osiren came over to the left, but he did it anyways. 
We should be able to score here. Only one's going to be alive. It's just going to be that Franks. We're just going to slowly walk the ball forward. Not going to take a risk by shooting it. And we're going to win that game. So that was our last Brawl Ball game, but not our last 3v3 game. We're going to hop into a Hot Zone game right now and try and see how good this is in Hot Zone. So let's hop into it and let's show you guys what's up. All right, so here we go into our Hot Zone game. It's going to be a double Hot Zone map. So we're going to be going up against Gale, Surge, or not Surge, Gale, Tara, and something. I think I said literally in the last video, I'm never going to play this mode again. And here I am playing it again on video. Kind of funny. Uh, but we're going to go down straight away. So we have the spawn. We have this the ring closest to their spawn. And they have the one closest to our spawn. Let's see if we can hit a crazy shot. No way this hits. Okay, yeah. I don't know why I went for that. There was no way that was hitting. But I really wanted to go for it. We're just going to go ahead here and break this. Going to be able to get the kill with Osiris. So we're holding down this spot pretty well. But they do have a jump pad. So I am pretty scared. In Hot Zone, I feel like right now it would be better to have the other star power. Because when they jump on us, we can literally just jump. We can literally just push them back. But I'm going to use my heat seeking shot, which means it's going to 100% hit. I'm going to be able to get the kill. And now we're going to hold on to this zone right over here. Um, getting pushed back by that Sandy. Going to be able to get the kill. But again, we're probably going to get jumped on. So I'm just going to jump up. We're going to be able to get that kill over there with our super. And we're holding this down pretty well. We actually have the lead on this one. Oh, I was looking up at the camera for a second. And it looks like I died. But we're actually doing pretty well at holding this. It looks like they've captured that far hot zone. So they're only going to be going for this one. So that's kind of scary. Jig, I think, has got to go for the pull. He's going to. We're going to be able to get that kill. It looks like we got to get this kill as well. So we're going to use the missile shot just to make sure we get that guaranteed kill. Now we're holding down on this pretty well. We're actually gaining a lead right now. Going to jump up. We have the lead. Almost completed this hot zone. We got to defend it though. Oh, Siren's on the other one. And there we go. We're able to get that comeback win. And we're going to win this game 100 to 93. So that's going to be it for the 3v3 games. And that's going to be it for the video. So I hope you guys did enjoy. Now, if I were to give this gadget an overall rating, I'd probably give it an 8 out of 10. Because it is pretty broken in bounty. It is pretty broken to hit any single shot that you want to hit 100% of the time. As long as you're aiming it correctly. But at the same time, it's not game breaking as a lot of us thought it would be. So hopefully we don't see many clickbait titles on YouTube a bit of YouTubers trying to clickbait us. But anyways, that's going to be it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And I will catch you guys again tomorrow. Peace.